Hello, this is Tony. Tony's Music and the Administrator of Doodly and Tunely PNGs. I'm going to start you off by uh, getting an ebook and getting the cover off it so I can use it to make a 3D cover for it. So I can put it on the uh, um, Academy. And I'm going to show you how to do it so you know how to do these then. Um, right, so what I need to do is just take that down a bit so you can see the full cover. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, press print screen on my keyboard like that. I've just pressed it and um, what I need to do is just knock that off. Knock that off. Go on to paint which is here which is a Microsoft paint tool it's a very simple tool which uh, you can use for a lot of things it's, it's reasonably useful um, I'm sure you can use a photo app or something else like that or another image app if you want to but I find this is very useful for doing the minimal jobs that you need to do uh, with this basically I'm just going to stretch it over to select that area and then I'm going to crop the area so I've just got that bit right and then I'm just going to save it save the file as a PNG and I'm going to call it Scholar so I know what it is ready for putting it on the actual 3D ebook plumber cover right um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Affinity Tools up and open Affinity Designer first Clock that off now I've got Affinity Designer opening up it's just going to run through its normal startup sequence I'm going to close the new document um, window down because I don't want it I want to go to open and I'm going to open a file and I've got 3D cover smart templates here and what I want to do is just get one of the single boxes and I'll open that one up single box too and as you can see it's at an angle like that um, you got a front a side a bottom and you got a reflection as well you got a shadow as well but the shadow won't show any picture but the reflection will show a bit of a picture so we need four um, images of the same picture or similar picture or maybe even different pictures on the size if you want to but you know I'm just going to do the four pictures all together so what I'm going to do is I've selected it but I'm going to pull one two three and then open one as well so that's four right so we've got the four pictures there that we need I need to um, put that one there that one there this one I'm going to have as the reflection so I'm going to turn it upside down and that one there I'm just going to bring that out a bit to make it bigger and what we're going to do next is we're going to uh, open up the layer section of the title box the box that's the um, yeah the template for us and then I'm going to open the software box that it says there that that piece and it'll give you the three main sides right so and then you've got the reflection there which is the one the one that the one upside down has got to go on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to allocate them to the right places where that I want them to be so I'm going to allocate that one to there by dragging it into that area and then I'll drag it across like that right now the next one I want to do that's the bottom one so I'll drag that one to the bottom and that one's already there like that then click on that one that one's the front panel so I'll drag that down to the front panel like that and the last one obviously must be the reflection so drag that one there and then to get it back on I'll just click on that like that and then drag it there like that so you can see it right so they're all connected to those particular areas now I'm just gonna knock that off like that then what I need to do is go to file and because I've got photo affinity photo as well I'm going to click edit as in photo or you can get to, you can go up there to the uh, personas but I don't want to do that I'll just go on to 
thingy. I've just uh, knocked that off. You now there's the photo. Right, so now we're in photo. I'm going to open that up again slowly and do each piece one bit at a time. So I'm going to start off with the front panel. Click on that. As you can see, I've clicked on the actual picture that I've imported into there. And now I'm going to go to perspective tool on this um, left hand side of the screen and click on the perspective tool there. And then the handles come up. What you need to do then is drag each handle individually to a corner or over the corner if you can so that you can make sure you you uh, cover all of the template color if you don't cover all the template cover it'll show through right so you don't want to do that you want to make sure you cover the area as much as you can so that should be okay hopefully yep yeah. Then I'll go to the next one so we can collapse that one and then open that one. And that one's a bottom panel, so we'll do that one next. And I've got to reselect the perspective tool again and then the handles come up. And I'm dragging that one and doing exactly the same with that. Make sure you cover the whole of the part. So you go you go over the corners you do more than the corners if you can if you don't do that you'll show some of the blow up of the uh, what's it the template so that should be okay hopefully if it's not you can go back and redo it you know if you want to uh, but it looks all right to me right so that's fine I'll do for what I would need and then the side one is next I'll do that one with the perspective tool again and basically the same again right so I would just drag that one there drag this one up there like that drag this one this way here and drag this one there should be okay right now all I need to do is just do the reflection so get the reflection on here go down to it if you can't find it you just flick down as much as you can till you get to the one where it shows it can't see it at the moment let's try again it's in there somewhere there it is right you, you might have to undo two or three of them to get to it right so there's the one i need to use that one with the perspective tool and it comes up right like that then make sure you got it over that and over that way like that and then and take that one there move that one that way a bit more like that you need to be closer in because obviously just showing that bit really and you want to get as much close to that as possible yep oh, I haven't done this side look so if you've got a problem like that what you need to do just go up to edit and undo perspective and then do it again right what I need to do is then go to the perspective tool again to select it go back over here oh, ah. About there. Hopefully that should be all right this time. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Right, because you can't see the blur there this time. That's fine. So that's it. That's how you do it. And then what you need to do next, I might have mis moved a bit of this. Um, if you want to, you can cut down the area by uh, cropping it a little bit here and there. So I'll move that a little bit so I want to cut it down slightly. And like that. Because you only need the shading in and that. Right, so just do that. Now I'm going to select all. And I'm going to export. 
as a PNG with whole document like that okay and then I'm going to save it as scholar same one as before because I ain't going to use that no more I'm going to stay as that one so that one's going to be the one that's going to go on the academy um, so that's how you do it it's as simple as that and let's see the finished article in a moment I'll show you here's the finished article as it is that looks pretty good hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it's useful to you um, if you do like it please like and subscribe to Tony's Music thank you very much